bullet hole from one of those rowdy cowboys that completes the six pack of bullet holes throughout that canvas as well as a knife slash just below her knee. And that staircase was the busiest set of steps in all of Tunstone. About town cowboys, miners, and gamblers will get up to see their favorite lady of the evening. Those ladies applied their trade out of 114 cribs, seven on each side of the building. And they'd go back and forth across this walkway the cowboys affectionately nicknamed the catwalk. That was where the ladies would entertain the cowboys, miners, and gamblers on the saloon floor and greet the one.
Motor front and even romantic rivalries. Whenever the Earps arrested a disorderly cowboy, they would hit him over the head with the barrel of a revolver. The cowboys claimed this tactic called buffaloing was simply police brutality. Snake in the grass. 
rolling over on his friends like that. And for what? Some blood money from Wells Fargo? I made that deal with Frank. <laughs> He'd get all the money, and I get the glory. Sure, now become election time. Does that make me a snake in the grass? No, Wyatt. Another drink? Clearly. Yeah, but it looks the end too. I could use one too. <laughs> maybe you ought to slow down. Don't you think bad enough? Don't you think that maybe I would tell you when I've had enough? Quit trying to rope me in, all right? Oh, Tom, the bar is up this way. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> You're buying. Bartender! Bartender! Clinton. Dead. 
That was it. All the before that started. Two months after this gunfight, Virgil Earp was ambushed outside the Crystal Palace Saloon. Three shotguns went off, but he still refused to die. Crippled up pretty bad, Virg wanted the West until death caught up with him in Nevada in 1905. Not as lucky as Wyatt's kid brother Morgan, shot in the back and killed, playing a game of pool up on Allen Street. Morgan died at midnight, March 19th, 1882, his brother Wyatt's birthday. In 1887, the year this whole town began to fall apart, a lifetime of drinking, smoking, bad decisions caught up with yours truly up in Colorado. I don't care to talk about it. <laughs> Wyatt Earp was the last man standing out of all of this. He'd spend the rest of his days traveling. Made his way from Idaho to Alaska. Finally ending up in Jazz H. Hollywood. Looking for another tombstone and a chance to make things right again. He never would find it. When Wyatt died in 1929, just ahead of his 81st birthday, his final words... Now you can have it. Boys, drop your hands. You want your guns? Don't shoot me. I don't want to fight. I haven't got anything. I do. Oh, I don't mean that. I've come to disarm you. This fight has commenced. Fight. Either fight or get away. Why? I'm hit. I'm 